The latest major announcement in a year full of them for the Condors means a third head hockey coach in three years. But Jerry Fleming says the Condor's reputation is well established. The reputation is one of uh, enthusiasm and energy and, and, and uh, thinking outside the box at times. So it's great to be a part of it. You ready for that? I am. Everything at the net here, boys. Everything at the net. Fleming oversaw the final days of the Oilers' previous AHL site in Oklahoma City. Put your helmet up, Tom. The Condor's new general manager, Bill Scott, says his first order of business wasn't a tough one. For us, it was an easy choice. Um, and uh, we're thrilled to have him moving out there to Bakersfield. I think he's going to fit in great to the community and, and do a terrific job. Now ex-head coach J.F. Uhl finished his only year at the top of the Condors near the bottom of the ECHL. For the city and for the, the team, it, it was tough. Shooting it scores! But Uhl's not going out the door. Instead, he'll stay in Bakersfield as an assistant coach. Uhl played under Fleming twice in his career and says putting the team first won't be as hard as it might look. No, not at all. Uh, I'm not a, a big ego guy. Uh, uh, I'm good friends with Jerry. We'll mesh fine. Um, you know, we, we've got a history together. So that always helps, uh, you know, to make the transition a lot easier. And Jeff's just one of those guys where uh, he's going to do whatever is best for the organization, and uh, he's not going to step on anybody's toes, and we have no fear of that whatsoever. So right, that's it. Boys. Today's coaching change should signal the end of the most unstable year in Condor's history. And although some of the faces will be familiar, the only welcome change left for next year is winning hockey. Focusing on getting better every single game, and that's been my philosophy throughout my career. I'm here to support Jerry and whatever he wants me to do, and uh, hopefully get these players to the next level is uh, is the key thing here. And you, Casey, you were mentioning it's kind of cool. He's actually choosing to kind of humble himself a little yeah, bit and it, take it that is. assistant role. And for some people, he says, you know what, maybe being a head coach at a different a ECHL team would be the best path for him. But he says, no, I'll stay in Bakersfield. I'm not going to move my family for the third time in two years. Right. I'm going to stay here and see what we can do in this first year. Certainly good to see that commitment. Thanks, Casey.